Hello, Whiskers. We're back. Um, welcome to another episode of my Divinity fanfiction. Um, so, last time we just ended up here and now we have to head into the city. Kit Kat. Oh. What's all this ruckus? Sounded worse than a dozen tomcats fighting over the world's last mackerel. Ah, but I see we've suffered another orc landing. And judging by the relative ease with which it was dispatched, I can only come to one conclusion. Source hunters have arrived in Sysiel. You're as welcome as a glass of cooled milk on a hot day, my friend. I'm Ahu, at your service. It was I who requested your presence in this troubled city. This is a weird cat, but I feel like he has the perfect personality for a cat. So you were, and so you weren't. Behold, there we are. Meet my other half, Hunter. Oh, he's a weird topless dude with, what are those, nunchucks? Looks like there are like feet or tongs or something on the one hand. What a weirdo. Ha <laughs> ha, no need to look so flabbergasted. I may be a wizard rife with tricks and guile, but I assure you, my plea is an earnest one. So, now that the cat is out of the bag, let us turn to the matter of Councillor Jake's murder. Oh yeah, that's why we're here. We're here to solve a murder. I kind of forgot, but we're on track now. It's hard to put my finger on it, but I can feel in my very whiskers that sorcery was at play. Visit the scene of the crime, and I'd bet sardines for salad you'll say the same. <laughs> Captain did. Aureus, though, the local commander of the Legion, insists I'm seeing ghosts. I insist he's blind to all but the undead. The undead? Okay, are there more undead around? Um, let's start with the crime first. Jake was murdered in a downstairs room of the King Crab Inn, up in Sysiel proper. The Legion keeps it under lock and key, though, so you'll need Aureus's permission, should you want to have a peek. Okay. Let's find out about the suspects. So there are. Or rather, there is. Popular opinion has it his wife did the deed. But to be frank, I have my doubts. Well, statistically, it is very common. I think it's like 96% of murders are committed by somebody that you know. So, beware of your family members during lockdown. Watch them carefully. She seems a likely candidate, to be sure, but that would make her a sorceress. Esmeralda knows how to charm, yes, but I just don't see her magic extend beyond a frolicsome look and <laughs> wink. Still, don't simply take my word for it, Hunter. It may be well worth your while to cross-examine her yourself. The Legion has her under guard in her shop near the town square. That's where you'll find poor Jake's widow. Okay, I think we've spoken long enough. I'm sure I can find you again, Kitty Cat. Bye! I'm glad we've met, Source Hunter. And I'm certain we have a lot more to talk about. Feel free to visit me whenever you want. I've set up a workshop in the Legion's headquarters. Okay. Once you're there, just take the stairs. Shh, but do, do pay so a visit to Aureus first. He may bark like a beagle with its tail stuck in the door, but you won't get very far in your investigation without speaking to the de facto leader of Sysiel. Okay, so Aureus. We need to speak to Aureus. Up the and with that, I bid you adieu, Hunter. Adieu and good luck. May your enemies prove to be mere mice and you the dauntless mouser. I don't know if I like this allegory. Sorcery? Sex, undead, orcs. Looks like we have our work cut out for us. Okay. At least we won't be Roger. bored. How about we go see that Aureus chap Arhu mentioned? See? Classic quote. Always interested in another wizard to teach him more tricks. What's this commotion then? Boys, what's up? Can you speak to them? No? Okay. The ship's place never higher! You think we should help? We should probably try help, right? We need more help! She's lost! Fine, I hear you. We have a rain scroll, let's use that. I remember. We need more help! Out. She's lost! Go! 
I prefer to drown my sorrows with ale. Okay. Cool. Now we're all wet. Let's see what else is on here. Actually, we should we should stick to what we have to do now. Otherwise, I'm going to get distracted and we'll never meet the wizard or I'll forget where to find him. So we have to find Legion's headquarters and some inn, I think. Uh, let's let's do that first and then we'll see about the rest later. Okay, so there's another waypoint so we can teleport to here. That's useful. Also kind of want to find maybe some food to just get them up to full health again. Or band-aid, I don't know. Yeah. Let's see. We just walk past, cool. They just intimidating gangs standing in the doorway for no reason. Uh, okay, so where do we begin? What does this say? General store closed indefinitely. What's that about? See? Okay. Something going on here. Close. Can't pick the lock. Wait. Nope. Strange. We'll have to get back to that. Maybe we can find a market, buy some lockpicks. Halibut, sheep's cheese, tomato. Say, uh, no one's around. You wouldn't raise a fuss if I uh, borrowed one of these fish, would you? Um, cheese, why are you tomatoes? Asking? It's you could just wait till I'm past. Okay. Borrow indeed. I'll sooner meet a cat wizard than see that merchant repaid. Okay, so they want me to join some kind of a gang. Come now! I'll be good for it! I swear! Sure. I sure. never would have dreamt of resorting to petty theft during better times. But what choice have I got now? If it's steal or starve, I'll choose steal. We can trade with him, so let's see what he actually has in his inventory. Okay, legit nothing. Can't we, like, give him things? Can we give him a bit of money? Just a bit. A little bit. Okay. Let's see. Halibut. Sheep's cheese, tomatoes. What? Does he have money all of a sudden? Yes, give him the money. Okay, I guess we still have to talk to him. To so, what talk. do you think? Should I snag a fish? No, I just gave you money. Not eating the fish. That merchant has to eat too, you know. Leave the fish alone. Okay. Yes, you know what they say about giving a man a fish? This man should learn to stand on his own two feet. I, and I just gave him money, I don't know. <sighs> I suppose you've got a point. Another day, another rumbling belly. Oh, boo-hoo. Just gave you 20 coins, buy a fish. Morals we'll never okay. fed a hungry man, you know. Okay, yes, this is definitely a marketplace. Okay, so I'm going to do some shopping and I'll probably see you after. So that was the shopping done. Uh, we didn't get much new equipment, but we made some gold and we got some new spells for Quoth. He can now literally shoot lightning. I don't think it's a good idea to shoot it in town though, but just look at that. That is to ball in the great. I'm so, so excited about this. I think, yeah, this is the a moment of your indulgence, if you please. Hello, sir. You are the source hunter, are you not? The hero the whole of Sysiel is a buzz about. The talk of the town. The juiciest grape on the grapevine. Such a pleasure to meet you. Ooh, this a guy delight. is going with the right tactic. Just stroking Quoth's ego. Let's go. No, scratch that. It is so much more than a delight. It is an intervention of fate. Yes, that's it. Fate has put me on this very spot, so I may tell you all about a most intriguing opportunity indeed. Okay, tell me. Oh, it's not merely an opportunity. It is a once-in-a-lifetime chance to become better. To become the full extent of the promise that is locked inside of each and every one of us. So first of all, let me ask you this question. 
do you like adventure? Oh boy. Okay, let's say yes. Of course I do. Yes, Quoth likes adventure. Of course I do. Huh. How could someone in my profession not? I think Anya Sumu is very keen on adventure too. She likes exploring and adventure is just exploring with some mishaps along the way. Quite right. Adventure is what we live for. See here, you and I share the same passion. I never doubted it for a moment. The thrill of walking the unbeaten path. The rush of finding yourself in a goblin ambush, knowing you'll prevail nonetheless. Mm, too bad your line of work comes with such measly recompense. Am I right? The wage of a mere soldier. Now, between you and me, tell me truthfully, don't you sometimes wish you could earn more? Oh, <laughs> considering that I couldn't even buy any new equipment, yes. Um, but let's go with what I think these characters will do. Quoth definitely is always keen on some extra coin in his pocket. He knows how fickle riches can be. Well, I can't say that I haven't. Huh. I don't really know how Onyesu feels about money yet, but... Let's say because of our current circumstances that she's also interested in some extra coin. Yes, some extra gold is always welcome. Indeed. Indeed, gold is always welcome. And among the fabulous five, gold flows as freely as water does to the sea. That's a bit suspicious. To gain something, you have to take it from somewhere else. And if adventuring doesn't pay well, why does their adventuring pay better? These sound like bad people. Even so, my friend, matters of a pecuniary nature aside, what is life without variety, without spice? To be a source hunter must get frightfully dreary sometimes. Am I right? All those orders. Investigate this, retrieve that. And at the end of the day, what do you have to show for it? Wouldn't you prefer to call your own shots? Be your own boss? <laughs> That's difficult, because aren't you going to be sending us on missions anyway? Um... Quoth is definitely more independent, going his own way. It's better to lead than to follow. That much is true. I'm, once again, this... And yes, and well, no. She, she pretty much follows orders and goes with what society wants. At least at the beginning, so we're going to go for that for now. I disagree. I, for one, am content with my station. You disagree with one another. But that proves you are firm-willed. That you have the minds of independence, not dependence. Admit, this man life's sounds too like short to spend it doing someone immature. else's bidding. Am I right? Of course I am. And I could help you attain the dream. And th ah, the fabulous Oops. five. I into some more How dialogue. I enjoy simply saying the words that describe the most illustrious and celebrated adventurers' guild in Rivalon. Our mission to better the world. Our mantra. To better ourselves as we do so. To realize our dreams and cleanse our souls. Why does this man sound like Elon Musk? You'd like nothing more than to enlist, wouldn't you? Of course you would. And you can. Of course, if you still have questions, I shall answer them to the best of my abilities. But if not, how about we get started? Uh, maybe later. Let's... Let's... Okay, Quoth would definitely like to enlist. I don't really want to go on to this tangent, but free gold for him, we're gonna do it. Of course, of course, of course! All you need to do is sign this waiver, and just like that, snap! You're part of the family! All I need is your lovely little autograph! What do you say? Definitely. Join a guild, better the world, earn a lot of gold. Yes, count me in. Yeah, I'm with Von Yesenwu on this one. It, this man sounds like a sales oil snakeman. Ah, sales oil snakeman? Snake oil salesman. That's the word. Wow. You'd fall for this foolish scheme. Gods, you're gullible. 
Huh, what are we gonna go with here? Huh, let us go with charm. I think Quoth will be able to charm on Yasunui. I've always wanted to join a real guild. Indulge me, okay? She's always angry. We're gonna have to go with Intimidate again. I'm not going to join some freak show, and neither are you. Let's go. Looks like, I, looks like I'm on close side this time. Very well, have it your way. Okay, on yes and we'll won the rock, paper, scissors. So, that means we can move along. Oh, how frightfully disappointing. How illogical and short-sighted of you to deny the fabulous five. It is a crime against reason and humanity. Opportunity knocks, and you close the blinds. Now, Lackey's life is yours, and by choice, too. So long. Fare thee well, though you won't. Wow, this guy is so salty. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. Tell me, Alistair. Have you ever had the fortune of challenging the fabled wizard of Hunter's Edge? Well, this is where we're going to look for Madra. So you're just hanging around the inn, are you? They Waiting say for what, he's privy exactly. to ancient and arcane I'll thank secrets. you to leave me be, the likes of which you know, I doubt that. Even fathom. This oh, woman is going to be our fighter. Well, what's this? Oh, <laughs> Madara, you lummox. A oh. thousand pardons, comrade. This old bear is edgier than a dodecahedron these days. Medora. Sorry, I've been pronouncing it incorrectly. Um, so she's gonna be our, our fighter. Let's see if we can recruit her. I'll tell you, it sure does me good to set eyes on another of our order. From Academy West, aren't you? Give Captain more truce my regards next time you see him. Heavens, hornets! That's quite a story, comrade. And come to think of it, one that might concern you. See, I'm here on, well, Let's call it a loan from a town to the north of here. Hunter's Edge by name. There's been an attack there, comrade. Orcs. Not your run-of-the-mill savages, either. The ones who've taken dark magic to new heights. What they want in Hunter's Edge, I can't say. But it's my responsibility to send them packing. Preferably with their horns in their suitcases, and a knee-knocking fear of ever crossing paths with a sauce hunter again. She's intense. I like it. I came south seeking the Legion's help. Only to find it tied here in Sicil. They don't have a spare soldier to send northward. And even in my finest form, I can't clear the place of that many orcs without backup. Well, comrade, I hadn't thought of it till you tapped my shoulder just now. But perhaps that's where you come in. I need a contingent I can trust if I'm to take back the town. And the way I see it, you could use reinforcements here in town. I've been scouting Sicil for some time now. And I believe I've sussed out sufficient intel to help solve the murder of the Counselor. With our minds and swords in tandem, we'll make short work of the perpetrator. Okay. Yeah, we wanted to recruit her anyway, so here we go. Well, you know the old expression. Two's a tea party, three's an invasion. I know this place like the back of my hand by now. And the orcs up north will be short work for a trained-up trio of sauce hunters. Fantastic plan. A fantastic plan. With three source hunters working in tandem, we'll put an end to all the evils bent against this fair land. Another source hunter on the team will make us all the more formidable against this wicked magic. Welcome aboard, Medora. Medora. That's the spirit. Listen closely now. Do you hear it? That's the sound of every orc and sorcerer in a hundred mile radius shaken in his wee boots. <laughs> okay. Your head's now we have next swollen than sorcerer on the party. I dare say. Let's have a look at her skills. Just want to switch that off. Okay, so she basically two handed weapons and skills around that. Okay, so this is an inn, clearly. Let's see if we can find the scene of the murder. Wait, are they gonna let us in without the Legion? What's in here? Hello, sir. Greetings, traveler. And may the Immaculate Conduit's myriad blessings comfort and cradle you. Tell me, have you yet heard the revelation? The Immaculate Conduit? You mean you haven't heard? Oh, what fortune that I may share the goddess's salvation with one who has, as yet, been lost. 
Steal yourself, friend, for your mortal spirit could be forever transformed from this moment forth. The conduit, our link to the goddess herself, has given us a special gift, and the gift is thus. By following her instructions and becoming initiated into the one way, we can each of us live on for a span greater than the number of stars that twinkle within the goddess's right eye. This sounds like a cult, and I'm a go. Go on the path to the righteous, my friend. Forget not that the conduit has great plans for you. Okay, bye. So it's not here. Huh. Yep, that, that looks like it. Speak to this man. Greetings, Soros Hunter. I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I can't open this door for anyone who hasn't received Captain Aureus' explicit approval. Okay, fine, we'll go look for Captain Aureus first. Let's just go look, keep looking for Commander Aureus. Oh, I'll be the skills there, Lucas. Let's get there, Lucas. Ah, come on with the dramatics. It's not as bad as all that. The face, Virius! She bit me in the face! <laughs> Look on the bright side. Hey, who's that then? Come on, stand where my good eye can see you. Easy, Tull. That's the source hunter you're talking to. She may have the look of a woman if you squint hard enough, but she's no more than a wild animal. We got reports of a strange-looking outsider skulking through the town with her bow drawn. I found her crouched behind a tree, taking aim at a fat old rat trotting along the city walls. I tapped her on the shoulder to see what was what, and the beast startled like a wild cat and lunged right at me. Bit tell you right in the face, she did. It wasn't pretty, and now it's got a chunk ripped off it to boot. <sighs> this guy. She's already pissed off. Do you really want to be saying that? Enjoy it while you can, Ver. There's not another legionnaire in the cohort that'll have you if I go rabid. Okay. Well, that's to be decided. She doesn't seem to be sick, despite Tully's moaning. We can't keep her here forever, but we can't well send her into the wilds again, can we? We want to take her. Perhaps it'd be worth taking this stranger under our wing. She'll likely come in handy if we can trust her to watch our backs. And Quoth is so known for taking in, let's call it strays, or people in trouble, in need, and misunderstood by society. This is so mean. And I want Beardo to, to be our lance anyway. After all, a fearless hunter might prove quite useful for our investigation. Well, that's a relief, ain't it? We found a good home for her after all, Tull. Heed me, Source Hunter. She's not good for anything more than cannon fodder. And don't turn your back on her when she's got that bow within arm's reach. Sounds dangerous. I like it. Hi, Bear Daughter. What do you have Sorry, sir. Her? She has nothing on her, just a couple of special arrows. Ah, I think this is her stuff here. Let's get it first. Sorry, sir. Source Hunter. I have heard tales both grand and terrible about the world of humans. I myself was caged one moment and freed the next by your... our... kind. Shame. In Home Forest, every creature acts according to the nature of its kind. Birds frighten easily. Badgers fear little. But amongst men, there are no guarantees. It's weird that there was no voice over there. But I think this one suits quote very well. It, there is little in our word more... Sorry, sir. Yeah. There is little in our world more variable than the minds of men. It is the greatest source of beauty and much despair. And all of it uniquely human. It is difficult for me to claim humanity as you do. I am still learning to see myself in the faces of those I meet. And those I meet do not always see themselves in me. It is strange to stand with one foot in the forest and the other in the city, Source Hunter. I am glad that now I have you standing beside me. Oh, she's a sweetie pie. You see, I like her. Okay. See that all her stuff is equipped. Sorry, sir. And then switch your helmet Okay. Okay. This is a big building. Is this maybe where they are? Legion Headquarters. This is Aureus. Yes, good. We found him. What have we here, then? 
The so-called Source Hunter, eh? <laughs> Look, do what you must in Sysil, but don't make waves and don't interfere with the Legion's affairs, you hear? I was asked to help, but okay. Gods above! Some politician snuffs it and everyone's in an uproar! Ridiculous! I told that wizard brat of an Ahu not to bother. But he just had to send for Source Hunters, didn't he? Bloody magicians. They see a pigeon poop and think sorcery is afoot. Calm down. Nevertheless, I want to be kept in the loop. Understand? I am in command of this town. Not Mayor Cecil, not Ahu, and definitely not some hotshot source hunter. So investigate Jake's death if you feel so inclined, but report back to me the moment you discover something out of the ordinary. Ooh, Quoth would have had like the cleanest, wittiest one-liner here to put this man in his place. But I don't know if the game's going to let us do that. The scene of the crime is over at the King Crab Inn. You can tell the guard you have my permission to enter. Now off with you. Let's see if we can get everything sorted before we go. Esmeralda is Jake's wife. Well, well, widow. Everyone in town down to the crabs on the beach is convinced she killed him. Now, the girl has the reputation of being a flirt. There is that. But that doesn't suffice as evidence, wouldn't you say? Or do source hunters rely on hearsay alone, perhaps? That certainly would explain some of the cock-ups you lot have made in the past. I, this man, he doesn't even know us. What? You're going to stand there and claim with a straight face your order never wrongly tortured and executed anyone? Hardly. But I won't stand for such nonsense. If you bring evidence before me, I'll evaluate it with perfect objectivity. The Legion relies on reason, see? Not idle superstition. Okay, bye-bye. Let's go look at the crime scene first. Whatever happened to that troop of eager imbeciles we sent to the Northern Cave? If the man... Like the sword, you can send if Jake is like some politician... Greetings, Source Hunter. I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I'm not exactly the friendliest bloke the captain, is he? No, he's not. Well... Your reward for getting your ear chewed off is a waltz through the town's finest magical murder scene. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Okay, I think Quoth should probably lead in case there are traps. His perception is a bit higher. Well, something just happened. Um. What was that? What? What happened? Is this a dream? I don't think so. That stone. Somehow it sent us flying into the stars. What stone? I didn't see any stone. Guess we just keep walking. Terrible! 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 It will consume us all! Hello? By the quill that lasts a billion words, what's this? Two Rivalonians here? At the end of space and time? How very, very, very curious. Um, we're four, actually, but okay. Your guess is as good as mine, my newfound comrade. Here I stood upon this tiny vestige of space and time, and there you appeared. Quite good timing, by the by, because the ground here has been fast shrinking beneath my feet. Oh, um, but uh, I suppose I should make a proper introduction. Zigzax the historian at your service. It is my job to record all that was and is and hopefully all that is to be. Okay, so he's sending in some place that is devoid of time, writing down history. Useful. Why is it shrinking? Ah, at last a question I can answer most definitively. I mentioned already that this place is the end of time. If that didn't send your heart into your stomach and your pulse a flutter, it should have. Time ought naturally to have no end at all. Indeed, I can think of no worse nightmare for a chronicler such as myself. But something totally, utterly terrible has happened. Okay, so our options are how has time to come to an end? Or out with it, sir imp. <laughs> So, let's go with So, just play. don't tell, I always say. So, go, peer through yonder looking lens and feast your soon to be terrified eyes on the darkness that is approaching. Okay. I 
think that Let's go. imp may be quite, quite mad. Then we'd better appease him and have a look through the looking lens. Do we appease madmen? Let's go for it. Okay. <laughs> what was that? You looked. You saw. Terrifying, is it? What's this? The portal. It's... It's... Okay, we the did something. Has become... The portal! It's quite sprung to life, just like the long, dormant flames that decorate this observatory. After all my waiting and hoping, could it be you, dear stranger? You must be the key. Something about your presence here is causing the end of time to grow. The true end itself to move further away. Wow. Those torches, a light! This portal active once more! It cannot be coincidence! Uh, okay, so this is really a chosen one. But we didn't even know. And no prophecy. Um, so... It's not that I believe, it's that I have seen! Long have I been waiting here, hoping that one day this very portal would ignite! Okay. Then, no longer than a few mere moments after you arrive, zap it goes! The Chronicler of Time knows a pattern when he sees one. Okay, let's discuss that little acid trip first. Goodness me, how right you are! There's so much to take in, I've nearly forgotten. And what you saw has been haunting my mind since I first discovered it. It is the void itself. The dragon that is devouring creation. When I speak of the end of time, this is exactly what I mean. Don't tell Jordan Peterson about this game. I can't say for sure where it came from, how or why, but I do know this. It's shrinking our future by the second. And if we don't stop it, it will devour the past and present as well. Ah, though I cannot say for certain, if it is what I believe, then our prayers might well be answered. In fact, every last question that ever plagues your noggin might well be answered, for I believe what lies beyond this portal is nothing other than... But why spoil the mystery? As soon as we leap through, we'll find out for certain. After you, after you. How can they speak so long and say first, nothing? But don't okay, tell let's it. go, shush. Yes, just as I'd hoped. There she is, there it is. Come, come, don't delay. And he's off. It seems the imp has spotted exactly who and what he'd hoped to find here. Okay. Some portals and a lady. He, milady? The weaver of time, mother of history, author of all that has ever been. Oh, Lord. Indeed, Sir Imp, as surely as you are he who chronicles all that I weave. Astounding! Unbelievable! I have so many questions for you, so much to ask, so much to say. I love how he's fanboying around it. But if you were a historian and you met the mother of time who apparently weaves time, like the writer of time, oh my word, I understand. I understand the fanboying zigzags. We are on the same page. You have brought guests, I see. Strange. Very strange guests. My reaction exactly, milady. It was their arrival here at the end of time that instigated my finding you. But why? Surely you must know. This is a question better put to our guests themselves. Tell us, how did you arrive upon this plane? Apparently it was a stone. A stone? So... It was a stone that caused the great shock of energy that brought you here, and it infused you with new life as well. Is that so? Not like this, no. What happened to you is unique in all my work. Never had I experienced something so... contrary to my nature. To weave something I had not seen, had not expected. Life does not simply spring into existence, you see. Why do I feel like the Weaver of Time has a crush on us? You're special, nobody is like you. So strange. But yours has. 
You appeared before me from the moment you came into contact with that stone. Starstone. I now know it to be called. But, Madam Weaver, how is it possible? Do you not see all? Have you not woven all that is and could ever be into your tapestry? No, she's obviously a pantser. She has her characters do whatever they will and she writes it down. It's <laughs> not everybody plots out ahead of time. Like the stones, your guests are a mystery to me. I see them before me in this world, but their likenesses appeared not upon my tapestry until they revived the stone. Source hunters, it would seem that yourselves and Starstone are inextricably linked. Why and how, I cannot say, but I do believe that finding more stones will reveal to me who you yourselves truly are. Wait, so if this has never happened before, why are there star stones and why... Why can't... Why did we revive one? I didn't even see a stone. Star stone is not what it seems, Source Hunter. Its true nature must be part of a greater secret. A secret lost, even to me. Do you see what violence my work has suffered? What wounds lay upon the tapestry of time? Yeah, I see the gashes. That's probably bad. Mysteries of all time. Gaps in history. Oh, how they've tormented me for eons. Like the burning of the Library of Alexander that still upsets me. Every time it pops up into my head. All the history of the world. Every manuscript. Every tablet. Every written word. Gathered into one place. Just to be set on fire. I understand your pain. I'm... I, I will help in any way I can. It would appear that Starstone transforms at your touch, granting me new thread by which to mend the tapestry. Thus, it restores time itself. I see what the void would shrink, Starstone restores. Convenient? Yes. Though I cannot explain why this Starstone is the antidote to the Void's ravishment of our realm. If we do not restore time, if we do not discover the true nature of these stones, the Void will consume us all. Okay, so we don't really know why. We know it's super convenient that these star stones heal time, but I think it's probably still worth gathering them, even though... Uh, this feels like a trap. Indeed you must. Though I may not yet understand why. It seems that you and you alone can unlock the powers within Starstone. Yet we are not the only entities who know these stones to be so much more than pretty gems. See? Trap. I smell a trap. Why, of course, that's what they were doing. I have recorded their doings, you see. Collectors of Starstone, more and more by the day. Now I understand. They'd keep the stones from our reach. They'd prevent the mending of time. Who would be outside of time who wants to destroy it? Because if you destroy time, don't you destroy the world itself? Without these stones, Hunter, there will be no Rivalon. The entire tapestry will crumble. Even this plane will fall victim to the Void's insatiable hunger. So we're fighting like nihilists or people who are like, want to watch the world burn. These are the people we're fighting. I, I'm, I'm keen on this. That I'm sure. That shall never be, milady. As sure as Zix comes before Zax, we will put a stop to it. First we mend the tapestry, then we stop the Void. Sounds easy. I'm on it. Please, our most mysterious guest. Are you ready? Are you willing? Will you hunt out the stones? Will you help us restore what has been lost? Okay, I guess we get to decide. Come, come. Not but a moment ago we were hunting source in Rivalon. And now we're being told that we alone can prevent the end of time by way of some magical stones. What do you make of it? Do tell. Hmm. There's something weird about it, but there's definitely enough for us to jump on. So, what do you think, Source Hunter? Every story has a core, and I think Quoth knows that more than anyone. You can't deny our reaction to Starstone. There must be something to all of this, mad as it may seem. Hmm. 
It is quite a leap, but anything is possible. No matter how improbable, anything is possible. If the Weaver tells the truth, we have some serious work ahead of us. Yeah, Anya Sunwu has seen some strange things as well, so definitely. Okay, let's speak to him again. The glint in your gaze and the set of your brow suggest to me that you've not given up on our dear old Rivalon, not just yet. No, with you searching out Starstone, I believe we'll mend the tapestry in no time. We'll find out just who you are and how exactly to send the void back to wherever it came from. Okay, sure. But you'll need a way to travel between Rivalon and this homestead, won't you? Who wouldn't want to see what fantastic changes your search will yield? And who knows what the Weaver might discover about you? So this is gonna be our trophy room. Okay, I like it. Luckily, the power of portals is known to you, so I'll let you in on the little secret of how to transport back and forth from the end of time. Just, you know, don't go sharing it around. Never know who we can trust these days. You, you should know. You literally are the chronicler of time. I feel like if anyone can know these things, it's you. Off you go then. You've Starstone to find, and I've a tapestry to examine. Surely there must be some clue here as to how on earth you're related to the end of time. Okay, Before yeah, bye. Before you go, Source Hunter, a final word. Once you return to Rivalon, there will be someone waiting for you. My agent, my eyes and ears upon your world. I hope he'll be able to help you as much as he can. Time, I need hardly remind you, is of the essence. Okay, so we have two main quests now. How do we get back? Probably through the same portal, right? Wait, what's that? Oh, quick to the wave shrines. I think we'll go to the harbor then. Okay, so now we sort of have two quests to deal with. Um, we have Jake Source and- Source Hunters! I welcome you once again to the realm of Rivalon after your travels through the chasms of space. Nice to have found a shelter, wouldn't you agree? Where you can come to no harm. I know the imp historian has told you about his agent on Rivalon, and that agent is I. So now that you know of the alliance between me and Sir Zigzax, let us turn to the business at hand. Starstone. Yeah, I agree. This is kind of more important than a murder. Jake's already dead. Time, on the other hand, is kind of at the essence, at, at the core of this problem. So, yeah. I can't even Zigzags smell the sea air over this rock. And I'll be delighted to give it. Dark webs are being woven around these parts, and it is my firm belief star stones are the flies the sorcerer spiders are trying to catch. Okay. It can therefore hardly be a coincidence that Councillor Jake was a collector of the stones we seek. His foul murder and the plight of dying time must somehow be interconnected. Huh. That is interesting. So that's why there was one at his crime scene. But if he were searching, collecting them and murdered because he collected them, would the murderer not have taken the stones with them? That means the task you have been given remains crucial. Find the assassin that did away with Jake, for you're bound to stumble upon Starstone along the way. While you were being lectured by our friend the Historian and the Grand Dame of Time, I snuck into his house and had a look around. The Grand Dame of Time. <laughs> Love that. Slimey the advantage of being a cat, you know. You go where you please with impunity. And sometimes the lady of the house even rewards you with a slice of fresh herring. That's where I saw them in a cabinet. Mere slivers, but specks of star stones nonetheless. They lay there, silent and innocent. Though bloody murder may have been committed in their name. Yeah, but again, if the murder had been committed Swine by the star me signs, reeking, why are they still there? Garbage. Don't we all long for a sanctuary where our worldly troubles can be held at bay? A bed or a basket so snug it becomes, in a word, safety. But perhaps I speak only for myself. 
not for veterans such as yourselves that by necessity call any patch of ground they rest upon home. Like any cat worth its salt, though, I deeply cherish a secret refuge unbeknownst to anyone. To be able to repose without a care is such a precious circumstance, save it all too seldomly. Oh, before you go, here, take this teleporter pyramid. A handy toy indeed that Zigzags asked me to give to you. Okay. You'll need Thanks. the other one too if you want to make use of its powers, but alas, I seem to have misplaced it. Don't worry, though. Use this one here, and it'll take you straight to its twin. Now that this matter has been settled, hunters, I shall detain you no longer. But rest assured, I'll do my share of hunting, too. So if you spot a white cat during your travels, do stop to say hello. Okay, so he gave us a thing. Uh, let's maybe speak to Madara. What? How do I pronounce it now? Medora? Medora first? Um find out what she has to say, and then we'll think about this whole pyramid thing, because I boys, smell a rat. Steady. Unknown to all time, are you? <laughs> Leave it to an imp to try to fill our minds with all manner of magical gobbledygook. <laughs> I'll tell you who you are. Source hunters, members of the most esteemed order in Rivalon, here to find out and grind out every last speck of dark magic in the realm. There, the enigma is solved. Yeah, <laughs> magic gobbledygook, mm -hmm. you say. Um, I think that was more than just some magic gobbledygook. Slimy, reeking, rotting sea garbage. Wow, this is so sassy. There, there, Medora. Just because you're unknown to all time doesn't make you any less special to us. <laughs> Gonna have to go with that. <laughs> What are you? You think I'm... <laughs> no, no, comrade. You can keep the honor of being the object of the Space Sim special interest all to yourself. I kind of feel like this lady has a little bit of, like, a Donald Trump vibe to her. Of course, not nearly as bad, but I... the kind of benevolent side of him. I just hope this fancy of yours doesn't interfere with your real job, or have you forgotten that little detail already? You're a source hunter first, last, and always, comrade. Okay. I don't remember signing any contracts, but I guess. Okay, so... Oh, the pyramid. That was the last thing I had to do. Two has it. There it is. So... Slimy, ooh. reeking, rotting sea garbage. So, let's just get away from her ranting. So, I'm suspicious of this pyramid for a couple of reasons. Um, we don't know where it's going to take us, and it is very convenient that the man who called us here also now gave us a thing that's going to teleport us somewhere, and we don't know what we're teleporting into. But on the other hand, we have no other clues, and if we just ignore it, well, nothing's going to happen. So, I am prepping for a fight. Let's do this. My gods! What is going on here? First I have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat, and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you? Uh, we're definitely gonna have to try to arm her. Ooh. Seven charm, two charm. Okay, Quoth, uh, let's do this. Okay, we win. We only get two points, so this is how it works. I get two points if I win, she gets seven. So we can't lose twice. Uh, I don't know what happens if we lose. Okay, uh, so she just... Scissors, again. She won't expect that. Yes. Okay, I know this is silly, because rock, paper, scissors is always luck, but I always try to like reason it out. Okay, so we just won with scissors, so she's going to use rock, so we'll use paper. Huh? See? And it's actually working. Okay, so we're going to keep this up. So I just used paper, she just used rock, so next she's going to go with paper, so I'm going to go scissors. Huh? Okay. Last one, last one. Okay, wait, I just went scissors, so next, scissors, rock, so, paper. Yes, 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 we've won. I can't believe that. We should not have won. 
<laughs> mm, I guess so. I never imagined my bathroom would be such a hub of community activity. <laughs> oh, do be a dear and show yourself out, won't you? Yeah. Hey, she's an okay No, lady. if you please. Okay. This room is private. Sorry, I just wanted if to say. If she sing. soaks in flowers, think much longer. Dear will smell this lady from a... Okay. All right, comrades, nothing to see here. Let's clear out and give the lady of the house a little privacy. So, Bear Daughter is very concerned that the lady will not be a good hunter after all her baths. Okay, so we found the other part of the pyramid and there was no fight. <laughs> Just a tricky situation. I guess Aru has a sense of humor. What's this? Any takers? Come on, you chicken. Hello. Who's this? Mayor Sissel's office? Oh, it's you. Come closer then. Closer? My ears aren't what they used to be. Nor my eyes, for that matter. Yes, hello, Source Hunter. Our city welcomes you. Okay. There's another little kitty cat. Let's speak to the kitty cat. Find out what's going on. Oh, golly gosh. One who flaunts the highways and byways of silly old Cecile with the easy elegance of a puss with her tail in the air. I do declare such a sight is rather rare around here. But where are my manners? I am Maxine, and you must be one of those hunters one hears so much about. Charmed, I'm sure. Okay. Um... I think that is where we'll end it, with a precocious cat. Um, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but yeah. So, thank you very much for watching, Whiskers. Um, please let me know what you think in the comment section. And next time, we'll go looking for a fight, because this was way too much talking. These people need to learn how to summarize. Bye-bye.